hello and welcome to my channel if you are new i'm so over the moon that you found me and if you've been here before oh my god you came back my name is alonda carter and i am the recovering hunbot if you enjoy anti-mlm content then you might want to consider subscribing because that's my focus today's video is another personal story shared with me through my google form there's a link to that in the description from someone who is sharing her experience in three different beach body teams you heard that right three different teams joined three times same company so if that sounds good to you then grab some coffee get some tea get your lunch get something get comfy and follow me okay this person's alias is sister Sledge. so i just in my head i have the song we are family just kind of like playing and that that's probably totally dating me but just go with it look it up it's a fun song anyway sister sledge is married and has two children who are in their 20s she has a degree in general business and psychology and she works as a full-time office manager sister sledge was not in the best place in fact her satisfaction with life was totally rock bottom she was desperate for friends and wanted to be part of the fitness and wellness industry beachbody seemed to offer her exactly what she craved sister sledge was so excited because she just loved beachbody workouts so very much she thought her love for the programs along with losing weight that she would be able to make this quote opportunity work for her overall beachbody to her was her ticket to the good life financially and also building a community her tribe or so she thought in 1997 she joined mel and luca and in 2014 she joined team beachbody well at least for the first time and trying to recall how much it cost her to join both sister sledge says she thinks it was around 40 bucks for mel and luca and 150 or so for beachbody since it's been a minute since she joined team beachbody her recall may not be all that accurate she believes that there was a coach fee um, and maybe that was waived because she bought a challenge pack back then a challenge pack would have included because of the time frame of when she joined a workout program meaning dvds of the program a month supply of shakeology the shaker cup and if 21 day fix was already out then most likely i'm thinking she got the color-coded containers as well chalupa or tamale just shook so you're going to hear a little you know weird sound that those are their little ears anyway she worked her beach body business off and on from 2014 to 2018 what is interesting about her experience with Beachbody is that she was on three teams in total. Also, because she loved the Beachbody workouts, she had she hunted down someone so she could sign up as a coach originally. Team one was Bob's team. No, this is not Bob. <laughs> I'm not really sure who this dude is, but he had a smaller team, and she says the training he provided was password protected. You know, I'm finding it interesting that nobody is talking about the training that's available in the coach back office. It's always about like what their coach is providing. It's just interesting. Anyway, side note. However, Sister Sledge says that he was really bad at answering her messages and she felt completely lost. He also had traditional employment at Disney, so he never put down, you know, working a, a traditional job or anything. But he did that in addition to on the side, he was doing Beachbody. Team 2. Her daughter joined Amy Silverman's team. Amy Silverman is one of the more, quote, successful coaches. And if you, you know, take a look at what's on the screen here, you know, you can see that she was a coach back in 2010. So, you know, things were very different then than what they are now if you join. You know what I mean? So, anywho, let me move on with this. Um, <laughs> I, I have actually, I've come across some dirt on her, so it's, she interests me and it's really strange, you know, like finding out things after the fact of people that, you know, you respected because I, I had respect for her. I saw her speak and I was like, oh, if I could just be like that, I'm so glad I'm not because she seems just to be a terrible human being. I mean, I don't know her personally, but from everything that I've seen, what people have said, it's just awful. Anyway, Amy put down anything and anyone that was not beach body and stated that she felt sorry for anyone who did not join the beach body opportunity amy actually encouraged sister sledge's daughter to quit college and focus exclusively on beach body good gravy 
Sister Sledge thinks that she must have used a different email to sign up. As a side note, if you quit Beachbody and you want to rejoin, you have to wait six months. So, I mean, people get around this. I mean, you know, honestly, when I was hunting, I, I never would have thought about these ways to get around things. I guess, you know, I'm an honest person. I mean, I'm not perfect, far from it. And yes, I have, you know, I have my past just like everyone does. But, you know, I, I never would have thought of these things. I, did, I just don't think, like, how can I, how can I get around systems? I don't typically think about that. Anyway, she says that Amy had great training with extensive training documents and videos. However, Sister Sledge's daughter injured herself when she was doing the workout program Hammer and Chisel. Amy's team shamed Sister Sledge's daughter, man, that is a tongue twister, <laughs> for taking a break in her workouts even though she was injured. Sister Sledge and her daughter both quit Amy's team. Sister Sledge joined Lindsay Bantway's Bombshell Dynasty team in May of 2018. Side note, Lindsay is at the tippy, 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 tippy top of the Beachbody pyramid. Her team is absolutely massive. There's a lot of people under her who have larger teams. Shay Stanford, Bonnie Engel, Scotty Hobbs, just to name a few. And until I found this image, I did not realize that Melanie Mitro was part of the Bombshell Dynasty. She was the top coach for four years. So she, no wonder Lindsay keeps this smoke and mirror scam going. She has so many people under her that, you know, have these large teams. So, you know, granted, she, you know, she has to have them perpetuate the myth. She has to perpetuate the myth. I mean, they have to like fill in those holes, but oh gosh, I am so glad to be out. Anyway, um, Sister Sledge says that Lindsay's team provided many videos, various documents, and included also multiple scripts. You know those copy-paste things? For Sister Sledge to be active in Team Beachbody as a coach, she had Shakeology on auto ship. That's because of the, the volume points you know that you need. She also paid her monthly coaching fee. So altogether, that's over a hundred bucks right there just to have that opportunity to hopefully make money. To market her Beachbody opportunity, she used social media. Specifically, she used both Facebook and Instagram. She says she also did a lot of cold messaging. Sister Sledge says she spent a lifetime to learn how to create videos and planning her posts. It was like every free minute that she had, all the while thinking that at any point, one of these things that she created would draw in attention so that she would be able to recruit people and create her team. That didn't happen. Another thing that happened while on Amy's team during a team training call was that Sister Sledge had been a coach for about a year and she made a comment that she still wasn't sure what her niche was. Allegedly, Amy just ripped into her. Sister Sledge felt so humiliated and she was just furious and disgusted that Amy was so unprofessional. Although she did not attend the annual conference called Summit, she watched it on YouTube and she noticed some crazy stuff. This was the same year that Prove It was getting big and a lot of coaches quit. Um, okay, I am guessing that this is at the same time when a lot were also leaving for direct sellers, which incidentally has closed down their MLM part of it. Although their website is still up, I did do a video on direct sellers um, several days ago. Can't, can't remember. You know, I've slept since then. Anyway. I know a couple of coaches that I thought were doing like really, really well because they were also in the social team builders training group and I had gotten a lot, lifetime access to that. But two of them left Beachbody to join Prove It. And this was at the time when Beachbody On Demand had just started. And there was a mass exodus because, you know, coaches who were making money were no longer making that same money because once you got Beachbody On Demand, you had access to all the former programs. So why would you buy a new um, challenge pack, you know? Anyway, Sister Sledge quit because she was struggling just like all these other coaches were as well. Apparently, Lindsay was not her personally, you know, she did not personally sponsor Sister Sledge because Sister Sledge mentions that her coach was poaching clients from groups. So I'm not exactly sure how that happened, but she never saw um, the person who was her sponsor, her face, 
her her voice or had any support from her but yet she was on the bombshell dynasty so i'm not exactly sure how all of that worked but sister sledge was blocked on all social media accounts by her sponsor by her upline after sister sledge reported how this woman was poaching people Shakeology also became way too expensive. So that was something else that, you know, was really impacting her. And another thing that caused her to end her relationship with Beachbody was the cost of the various apps that were used to follow and unfollow and other paid trainings that were supposed to help. Also, she earned her National Academy of Sports Medicine certification. So she became very disgusted with how so many of the unqualified hunts were providing exercise and diet tips. Before joining Beachbody, Sister Sledge had been part of Melaleuca in the years before social media even existed. She says she worked her butt off for seven years with that quote opportunity and it was a total money pit, complete failure. With her Melaleuca experience under her belt, Sister Sledge thought that since she would use social media and all of these Beachbody coaches made it look so easy and they seemed so very successful, she'd be able to step into making money easily. Her goal was to get fit and to get healthy and to also make a real living from the Beachbody coaching opportunity. In her mind, multi-level marketing companies were not pyramid schemes because there were actual products that she had to offer to people. Also, celebrities and some high-ranking politicians endorsed this type of business model so being part of an MLM just could not possibly be a scam, at least in Sister Sledge's mind. Plus, these companies give to charity, and you know, only real businesses do that, after all. Upon reflection, Sister Sledge says she really did not understand how MLM Beachbody was. She thought it was more of a kind of like a personal training and health coaching sort of a thing. She knew people who were desperate to lose weight and to get healthy. And since she had done that, she thought it'd be easy to motivate others to get them to do the same. It was absolutely anything but easy. She never built that team that she dreamed about. And she does not consider signing up her husband and her kids as having a real team. Plus, she made absolutely zero money in spite of having been on three different Team Beachbody teams. Amy Silverman and her overall team convinced Sister Sledge that through Beachbody, she would be able to earn a real income. All Sister Sledge had to do was follow this proven plan. In her time as a Beachbody coach, Sister Sledge lost contact with people that she was close with, all because they were the very first people that she approached to sign up or to buy. Something that Sister Sledge wants to share is that she feels it is really hard to pull away from Beachbody. Both her and her daughter still dream about making it big through the Teen Beachbody coaching opportunity because they really love the workouts. The mental relationship with Beachbody became very twisted. Currently, they both watch Huns behave very unprofessionally on Instagram. They also check out things over on Reddit and YouTube too. She says Carl Deichler just makes her sick. He is one of the founders of Beachbody. John Compton is the other. She says he exploits pregnant moms and makes them think that they can make money with their comeback story. According to Sister Sledge, one of the top coaches is a binge eater and is obese. I'm not sure exactly who that is. I have an idea perhaps, but I'm really not sure. There's another Beachbody coach that she says exercised her preemie out early so she could get back to her daily workouts. She also says there's another coach who is blatantly anorexic and that coach is also very successful. Sister Sledge would love to know why Beachbody coaches are exempt from the scope of practice limits that real personal trainers and health coaches must abide by. Also, why Carl and Beachbody Corporate do not care how unprofessional so many of the Beachbody coaches are. Why is it that they have no concern about any of that? She says there's a new program called The Work created by Amalio Caesar. I'm not sure if I said his name right, who is a personal trainer and he has transformed the bodies of NBA athletes. And she says that program is going to injure a lot of people. 
She hopes that this new trainer will not let the money that Beachbody offers him get in the way of his personal ethics. I feel like that too, people who are coming on now, because others who have done a variety of programs like Autumn and like Tony Horton and even the guy that I love the most, Sean T, they have to know that this overall business model is a complete scam and that people are losing out. I mean, how can you not know? Sister Sledge says back when Beachbody just had the chat forms long before there was a coaching network, Beachbody was great. And I say that too. I say go back to doing that. Let go of the MLM part because that's destroying people on so many levels. However, since adding the MLM branch to Beachbody, Sister Sledge says it's become very sleazy. She feels that Team Beachbody, the MLM branch, should be shut down for good. Amen, Sister. I find Sister Sledge's story so interesting. And boy, saying that over and over again, Sister Sledge, that's hard to do. It's a tongue twister for me. Sorry about that. Anyway, tangent. It just goes to show you that it does not matter which team you sign up under. A well-known coach that has all the things or someone who is totally unknown. I know someone who left Beachbody with the thought that if Nun Luca did not work out, she would return and sign up under a different coach, kind of opposite of Sister Sledge. You know, Sister Sledge did Nun Luca, then went to Beachbody, and I know someone doing the opposite. It's, it's this moving from one to another. It's like it doesn't matter because it's always the business model that just blows. Hearing Sister Sledge's story makes me worry a lot for my friend. Well, I don't know if I'd call her. I'm going to call her a friend, but she unfriended me because I get, I guess she unfriended me because I was not all over that Mel Luca thing. And that's a story for another time if you're interested. But Sister Sledge really believed in Beachbody. And it makes me so mad that what she was shamed for, you know, not knowing about her niche. I mean, that is total BS. I can't tell you how many conversations I had with people as we all, that there went Chalupa's flappy ears, as we all tried to figure out our stinking niche. That is just not something that you know unless you already have influence in some other way, you know? I mean, for example, let's just say that, you know, you, you have a following like on Instagram or, you know, wherever, and that you were way into soccer, that, you know, you had played soccer, your kids are playing soccer, and uh, everybody that you know that's following you, they're playing soccer, and you're all just, you know, into this thing. Probably at that point, you know, if you start posting something and you're not saying, of course, that it's Beachbody because, you know, you got to do curiosity marking, but people would probably start asking because they already had connected to you, you know? Does that make sense? I was never told to get any apps to follow and unfollow it. I mean, maybe that was stated after I stopped paying attention to all, all the stuff going in, you know, the, the teen groups and crap. And, you know, I'm not sure about the paid training. However, I mean, myself, I sought out training on my own. So I wasn't told take this training or take that training, but I sought it out because I kept thinking that surely there is someone that can teach me what I need to do so I don't look like a damn fool. But the truth be told, I was a fool on many levels. <laughs> I am super, super proud that Sister Sledge got certified and I do hope that certification is helping her create her own thing and, you know, building that life that, that she always wanted. And, you know, she has actual knowledge, which, it, which is so important. And that's really what makes all of these MLMs so creepy. It doesn't matter. Just choose the name of an MLM. You need zero qualifications to join any of them. All you have to do is be a warm body and be willing to pay to play. If you enjoy anti-MLM content, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell and give this video a thumbs up. That would be super cool if you did. There are my Chalupa's ears again. Also, my Patreon link is in the description if you, you know, want to support me and help me so that I can make, you know, better videos over time and all that. You can check it out. I appreciate the time you spend with me. And remember, if we want there to be a change, it's really up to us to get our stories and get the word out there. That's why I love sharing these stories. So I encourage you to share your MLM story in Chalupa's Coffee. And I'm going to persevere. <laughs> I don't know. For mom life. 
Surely, if you have a dog, you understand. Anyway, I encourage you to share your story, and you can use the link in my description and share it with me. I have a questionnaire for you to fill out. You can also share that link with other people and encourage them to, you know, share their stories. It is really those personal stories I feel that are so important and make such an impact. I also invite you to file a report with the FTC, the SEC, and your state authorities. The MLM police gave me a link, so there's a link about that in the description about, you know, helping you follow reports internationally. You guys, trust Google and Google that stuff. But most people just really want to put it all behind them and want to go into that good night and just say, oh, that's over with. The MLMs are counting that you're not going to speak out, that you're not going to take action. But imagine, just for a minute, that all of these government entities started getting one report about each and every single MLM, and there's like over 500 of them in the U.S. alone. Worldwide, I don't know, but I think it'd be very powerful and send a clear message that there is something rotten in Denmark, don't you? And remember, change starts now.